Thank you, Doctor. I'd like to talk about uh, the results of a hospital study, laparoscopic versus open resection for colon cancer, based on nine-year data. As disclosure is as follows. Our aim was to compare the long-term outcome of LAC versus OC for non-metastatic organ cancers. From January 2003 to December 2011, all patients were adenocarcinoma of the colon were assessed for entry. Adjuvant chemotherapy and the post-operative follow-up were similar in both groups. Here is the exclusion criteria in the statistical analysis. This slide shows our trial profile. We have data on 1,065 patients. After various exclusions, we performed LAC on 299 cases, NOC on 240 cases. Here are the patient baselines. No relevant differences were noted between the two in terms of sex and location of primary tumor numbers, except for age, ASA, and previous abdominal surgery. The next two slides are details of our, of our pathology report. In type two and mucinous in histopathology type, tumor size and the lymph nodes uh, rejected the specimen was significantly higher in OC group. There was no significant differences in rejection margins. Number of T34 and N12 in the stage two and the three are significantly higher in OC group. However, number of R0 were significantly higher in LAC group. Here's the result. Blood loss, fluid intake, hospital stage, and analgesic use was significantly better in the LAC group. There were no major differences in operation time. Overall complications were significantly lower in the LAC group. Bowel obstruction and wound infection were also lower in the LAC group. There were no significant differences in anastomotic leakage, abdominal wall hernia, reoperation rate, and 30 day mortality. When patient was stratified according to the tumor stage, stage 3B and the stage 3, the recurrence rate was significantly lower in the LAC group. Overall survival was significantly higher in stage 1 in the LAC group. There was a tendency of higher overall survival in stage 2 and 3 in the LAC group. Disease-free survival was significantly higher in all stages in the LAC group. Our results indicate that our outcomes were significantly better in the LAC group. As you know, Lacey pronounced these oncological advantages. Stage three tumors, the probability of dissemination is very high and affected by changes in immunological status. This could be explained by preserved cellular immunity, attenuated stress, inflammatory response, minimal tumor handling, and the lower complication rate in patients treated by luck. Our findings are as follows. One, the survival benefits were more pronounced in patients with stage three tumors. This confirms racist findings. Two, the survival rate for patient with stage one and the two were also significantly higher in the LAC group. This reassurance that LAC causes harm to patient in all stages allows us to look to future use of minimally invasive procedures. Our conclusion is LAC is more effective than OC in the treatment of colon cancer according to disease-free survival, complications, variables related to recovery, and the quality of life. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much for your listening. I think that's a, a very solid volume of patients. I would ask a question about your, 
in the abstract, your patients go up until 2011, as far as accrual is concerned. Uh, but you're talking about long-term survival. How m many patients are you comparing here that have been less than five years post-operation? Uh, this, uh, uh, as you know, this was a uh, um, control case study and non-randomized study. Uh, almost all patients were followed regularly, but um, almost all, pa um, uh, the all, all of the number of cases were lower. And uh, um, in some cases, um, uh, um, in some cases, uh, the uh, post-operative follow-up follow -up period was shorter than the uh, statistical cut of day. Uh, uh, let me put it just a, a little bit differently. What portion of the patients included in this study did have five-year survival figures? Uh, I, I, yeah, um, in stage three group, uh, there were no significant, no um, cancer-related death after five years. This would affect the uh, overall survival rate after five years. Is that the question? Maybe could you clarify what the average follow-up was in the laparoscopic group and the average follow-up in the open group? How many months? How many months? How long were the patients followed for? Well, maybe, maybe something different. Did the same surgeons do the operations on both groups of patients, uh, or were they different surgeons? Mm, uh, in our hospitals, we um, uh, mm, prefer the um, different surgeon. Is, um, yes, different surgeons. Thank you. Any questions from the floor? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Was, was there any sort of general rule as to who got laparoscopic and who got open? I mean, how did the patients get into their respective groups? This was not randomized, right? Yeah, not randomized. Okay. So uh, how was the decision made, you're going to be laparoscopic and you're going to be open? Could you speak uh, more slowly, please? Uh, how did you decide to do laparoscopic surgery or open surgery? Oh. Yeah. Yes, doctor. Mm. In the beginning of the studies, uh, we performed uh, LAC uh, mm, from stage one to stage three A patient. Um, but in recently, uh, we performed LAC from stage one to stage three B or stage three C patient, except for cases with. Uh, Mm. Adjacent organ patient uh, bowel obstruction. Well, thank you very much. Um, thank you. I will say it's very interesting that the results are actually very reminiscent of the Italian multicenter group study, a German multicenter group mm -hmm. study, and in fact, uh, Professor uh, Wylan Law's uh, data out of Hong Kong, which have been quite well controlled. So it's interesting, but certainly not randomized. Thank you.